weathercaster Tatum Larson. Right now we're looking at our downtown Palm Springs cam where it's looking fairly calm right now. We're not seeing a whole lot of activity, but over Labor Day weekend that might look a lot different if you're planning on going out. If you are planning on going out, just be warned that there is a heat warning in effect until Tuesday at 8 p.m. Now that's going to be affecting all of the Coachella Valley, but it's all we're not alone in this excessive heat. This is affecting all of Southern California and the southern part of Nevada. So we we have friends in this situation here. We are all feeling the heat right now as we see temperatures reaching into the one teens. Right now, temperatures are looking a lot like this. The overnight lows are going to be staying in the 90s and in the late 80s. So there's not going to be much relief, relief from this heat. We're seeing 93 in Thousand Palms, 94 in La Quinta, and 97 in Palm Desert. But in addition to the high pressure that is causing temperatures to feel a lot more excessive, we are seeing that there is an increase in moisture that's coming into the flow as well and it's making our dew points look like this. We're seeing 63 in Thousand Palms, 69 in Palm Desert and 69 in La Quinta and in some areas like Palm Springs in 71 they're in the 70s so we here in the desert, we know what that means. When we're in that range, we're feeling pretty muggy and sticky. But in addition to that muggy and stickiness that we feel when we walk out the door, we also see that temperatures can feel a lot warmer too. So these are our current index, heat index temperatures. We saw that earlier, our temperatures look like they were in the 90s, but they actually feel like this. 104 in Cathedral City, 102 in Palm Desert, and 108 in Palm Springs. So even though the temperatures look fairly seasonable, they feel a lot warmer because of that moisture. And that moisture also can increase the chance of some isolated thunderstorms come tomorrow. Now, tomorrow morning is looking pretty clear. We are gonna still be dealing with that moisture, but around the afternoon, we might see some high elevation thunderstorms. And we'll be tracking that for you throughout the weekend. But the main thing that we're we're going to be watching for you this weekend is that heat as that is a guarantee. We might be seeing some isolated thunderstorms come Saturday. We're going to see 110 on Saturday as well, 112 on Sunday and on Labor Day 114. So that heat is here to stay. So if you are heading outside, just remember, reduce your time in the sun if you can stay in air conditioning. Take those shade breaks, drink plenty of water, and as always, check on your loved ones. Looking at our first alert comforter seven day forecast, we're going to be staying in the one teens well into next week as well. We will see that we're going to be peaking at 114 on Monday and on Tuesday and a little bit of a cool down, not by much, by Wednesday into the weekend. Jen. All right, thank you for that at Tatum. So we'll get a little bit of a, a break there. Just yeah. a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> not right. by much, but something. We'll take it.